So you're asking, what is the sin of Adam Arishan? So the answer is that, first of all, we don't know. That's the first answer. Why we don't know? Because we don't know who and what and how was Adam Arishon. Right? So we got used to like imagine the, the whole story like a like a whatever, Lahavdil. Like people like like uh, imagining like some kind of a tale, you know, like a children's tale. Yeah. Ab- about about Adam and Chava and they are like in a nice orchard and then comes a snake and you know, mm-hmm. it's a nice show. But we understand that all of that is really, it's really a symbol of spiritual process. It's not, it's not as we think about it, right? So what does it mean, all of those things of Adam and Chavma and the snake and the fruit, when we're speaking about spiritual? We're speaking about spiritual essence, yeah? Someone that doesn't have physical body. You know, people like to, to speak about, about the, the Midrash in uh, Masechet Shabbat that, uh, that uh, it's also brought down in the Zohar that Nachash lived, had like relationship with Chava. And, but again, what does it mean? Talking about spiritual entities. They didn't have a physical body. Yeah? So it's... it's <laughs> the physical body comes afterwards when they're living in Gan Eden. In G- Gan Eden is a spiritual place. So how was it? How do we they say they that were in Canada and they had f- spiritual body. So how what does it mean, spiritual body? We how, don't know. How, what? Do we, how do we say that the Adam was forbidden <coughs> to eat from the tree and Chava was forbidden to touch the tree? No, 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 no. Okay. The the story is that Hashem put Adam and Chava with the two trees, Etzachim and Etzadat and the snake made this whole setup and told Adam don't eat from the tree yeah Adam according to what we learn about uh, f- that from the sages we don't have it written in the pasuk we know what in, we know in the pasuk that, uh, that Chava told the snake that Hashem told them don't touch the tree okay so they explained that she heard it from Adam Adam told her that Hashem said, "Don't touch the tree," but what the what the the, what the prohibition was to eat from the tree. For Adam, for Chava. For both, for both. Yeah. Adam told Chava not to touch. Not to touch. Yeah. So he yeah, added the chumah. So they so they, so they say they say from this like to learn not to add because if you, if you if you add like uh, stringencies that you don't have source for, so it, like you might you might lose a lot. Can I get that around one? <coughs> okay. That's a question. Anyhow, that's the way they explain it. And once again, what is that tree? What does it mean to eat from the tree? We don't know. Okay? So, it seems from, like, few sources in the, like I said, in the Maraim Sachar Shabbat, and also the Zohar that speaks about that, that there was something to do with, like, sexual relationship over there. But once again, what does it mean sexual relationship with, with there's no physical body? Okay, so the whole thing of, of unity, as we speak about in the Kabbalah, is in the physical it will be relationship. In the spiritual it's connecting to sp- spiritual entities to be one. Okay, so in other words, eating from the tree or connecting with the snake is the same thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that was the prohibition. In other words, there is a certain spiritual part of the existence of the spiritual realms that Hashem told Adam, "Don't go there. Don't connect with that part of the creation." Okay, what is that part of the creation? Obviously, the evil side of the creation, right? So Hashem told Adam, "Don't deal with it. It's not your job. Yeah, you do your job, and everybody will be happy." So Adam looked on the evil side of the creation and he said, Why not? It looks good. There's so much to do there. So much work, so much sports to elevate this, that. We want the, we, we want the full tikkun, we want the, to, to, you know, 
and and the whole uh, the whole uh, process of, of separating between the good and evil. So you have all this good that is within the evil. So that's let's elevate it. So he tried, and he got pulled into it. So he lay, had to, he had to leave Gan Eden. So he had to get the physical body, right? There could have been a chance that he would have succeeded. <coughs> Could have, would have, should have. We don't know about it. That's not that's not our job to 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 say like what Adam could have or should have. The point is that we the the question is what we learn from that principle to ourselves. Okay. So the principle is very simple. There is things we shouldn't deal with them. There is things that we should deal with them, and there is other things that we shouldn't deal with them. And whatever it is that Torah tells us, don't deal with it. So that's the usual, usual manual that Hashem gave us for this life, for this world. So if somebody is trying to oversmart Hashem and to oversmart the Torah, and is trying to do things that is is trying to deal with things that is not supposed to, so then there is results for that, right? Like we have today, that uh, for six thousand years we have to work to work to clean up the 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 mess that uh, our father did, right? So Bezrat Hashem. I hope that uh, we will learn the lesson and do just the things that we need to do and avoid the things we have to avoid and Bezrat Hashem to finish cleaning the mess and to be able to go back to do the original task that Hashem gave Adam. Bezrat Hashem soon.